I'm Tim Surowitz with the Linux Foundation. In today's tech sprint, let's talk about Kubernetes. We'll start by going to kubernetes.io. Here on the main page, we can see a quick definition on the top. Kubernetes is automated container deployment, scaling, and management. While it's fairly straightforward to deploy a container on a single node, it can be more complex to deploy hundreds of containers across thousands of nodes and attach storage and network and attach the containers to each other. Should one of the containers fail, to replace it on some other piece of equipment. These are the things that Kubernetes does for us. More features can be seen if we scroll down. Easy to scale, not only scaling the containers that we deploy, but how much equipment we use. Multiple operating systems on a wide range of hardware. Other features would be service discovery and load balancing. Self-healing, such that a watch loop notices that a container fails and replaces it on the same node or a different one. Automated rollouts and rollbacks. This allows us to have one or more versions of software in production and then change them without stopping everything, part of a continuous integration and continuous deployment topology. To learn more about Kubernetes, I'd start with a free class at edX.org. Do a search for Linux Foundation X Among many free classes, if you scroll down, you'll see there's one for Introduction to Kubernetes. If you were to give it two to three hours per week, it would last for 14 weeks. Over 100,000 people have already enrolled. If you want to know even more details, go to training.linuxfoundation.org. Then find the course catalog and choose the technology of Kubernetes. Kubernetes for App Developers LFD 459 is a in-person course, whereas LFD 259 is a online self-paced version of the same class. LFS 458, again, is the in-person. LFS 258 is the online self-paced version of the same class. There are other classes that have to do with projects that work with Kubernetes. Take a look.